Boy. What? My name is Jackson from JCK Best Gamer in the World. Subscribe to me. <laughs> well, welcome to the studio. Uh, we thought we would take you guys on a tour of John's art studio. We know um, we like to go tour other artist studios, and I know from personal experience that I'm always intrigued flipping through artist books at like actual photos of them working in the studio. Just you know, how do they surround themselves? What inspiration do they gather from? So, um, and a lot of people come over and they like to see where John does his thing. Yeah, it's interesting for the different artists. Like you've got like um, um, Francis Bacon or, or Bacon in New York with this crazy crowded sort of studio mm -hmm. where Pollock, where he's, he's, he's painting in a barn and it's all this paint and thick paint laying mm -hmm. everywhere. Just, I don't know, I find that fascinating. Yeah, yeah, I always thought like, I would flip through and I would see um, like a book, the books over Rodin and, and all his sculpture and how he works in these giant, these giant looming sculptures are around him and all the yeah. dust from the rock and what yeah. he did. And it's like so, a moonscape or something. Yeah, it was yeah. really cool. It was really cool. But yeah, so we thought we'd take you guys on a tour of kind of the work area. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Well, come on in. This is the studio. This is Jeff. So this is where the magic happens. Mostly over here, a little over there, almost never over there. That's a very underutilized area of the studio. <laughs> um, there's so all around the studio, it's just a workspace. First thing I, I did was put in a sink because I discovered paint gets everywhere very, very quickly. Another big part of my studio is the sound. I have speakers all over. They're hidden behind paintings. They're hidden on the floor. They're all over the place. I actually have a sound booth back there um, with all these different sound things. It has like the sound quality of a small club back here. Um, and of course, the other big important thing in the studio are the paints. I have these metal workbenches that are filled with paint. The one over here is acrylics. The one over there is oils. Um, the easels are, of course, another big thing. Oh, and then you got paints all over back here. Now, the easels, I have different kinds. Like, I have this one right here. Now, don't judge this painting. I'm still working on it. But um, this one is great. It goes horizontal and straight. It can hold gigantic paint paintings. Just the canvases are really big. Over here, I love this little easel. It looks, it looks like a little travel easel, which it is. Um, it also goes horizontal. This thing folds up to nothing and is so durable. I've taken that places all over the country. There's an easel back over that way and it's a two-sided easel. You can have a painting on each side. Every easel has its own purpose. It does everything. I have about 15 other <laughs> easels that are in the closet back there for traveling, for doing this or that. Easels that are so small that they'll, they'll fit in a backpack when if you go camping or on a kayaking trip. Back here behind you is a fireplace. As any artist will know, the art world can be a very cold, cold place. So once you get these rejection letters, that makes a nice little spot to be able to warm your cold little frostbitten heart on. And the chair here is Jackson. Always a great thing to have in a studio. From JCK, best game in the world, subscribe mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And um, that's a chair that I sit in. It's my Archie Bunker chair. <laughs> And it's awesome because it's a place that I usually sit in when I do, whenever I do a painting, I think about it, and I do the complete painting all in my mind before I ever put a, a brush on a canvas. Looks like I'm not doing anything, but in fact, it's probably the most important part of it all is when I get that slight jaw sort of look. The genius is happening. Uh, oh, and the little twinkly lights. Light hurts my eyes. So in my studio, I have little lights everywhere. It looks like... Unicorn land or something. I don't know. I always have the Christmas lights, but the tiny little bulbs don't really hurt my eyes. But um, but when like bright big light does, so usually do that. All over the walls are paintings, and they're paintings that are drying. A lot of these paintings are actually sold, waiting for buyers to come and pick them up. Um, some of them are waiting for me to to rework them. I'll let, I put them on there to dry. But they're. Um, you know, it's a great it's a great place to be able to store your art, so you don't have to have your your studio space filled up with easels all over the place. And it's nice because you can invite people back and say, "Let me see some of your work." And you're like, "Let's look around." So it's nice. Also, as an artist, you spend a lot of your time in your space. So my space is very comfortable. I try to make it warm and in a welcoming sort of place, so like my son can come back here and play. Um, my wife, she'll come back here. She'll do emails. We'll talk. I'll paint, so it's you know it's it's a living space as well as a workspace, but you know it's very much a workspace. So, oh, and the canvases. So I've got some canvases over there. 
I think right now on our, our commission docket or something, it's like a 150 to 180 commissions that we're working on. So we've just got a ton of, of, of can canvases and a ton of paint because the worst thing is to run out of anything that you need when, when you're working. And that's the main thing for a studio. It's your workspace, so you want to have everything in hand. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, because I love to see other artists' studio. I love to see their tools, what they work with. And that's one of the things that I have, is that I have the, all, everything rolls, everything moves. So that if I want to have just all tables in here, in about 30 minutes, this whole space can change. And it's just horizontal tables. Uh, 30 minutes later, it could be all easels, just all over the place. All of the paint, we're working things, they all move around. I paint in every part of the room. It's just, you know, right now I'm set up over here. And two days from now, it could be completely different. But it's just whatever works for whatever, you're, you know, whatever piece you're working on, whatever kind of mood you're in. Um, I have chairs to sit in, but I like to paint the music, so sometimes I'm sitting, sometimes I'm jumping up and down. But thank you for looking at the... the studio here and we're in Denton, Denton, Texas. It's a great little town. If you're ever up this way, you ought to drop in and say hi and see it for yourself. <laughs> Go ahead and start. Oh, I gotta start no, this I mean, every I'll time? Start. No, no, no. I'll <laughs> start. Paint. Wait. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do all that again. Okay. Paint. <laughs> yeah. We'll show you the rest of the studio. All right. I make it pretend like I'm walking. <laughs> 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 okay. We're not doing that? I'm going to fly away. Susan's going to fly over. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. That's probably, I don't know. Do you want to look at it or do you think that's good? We'll do one more. Sink. <laughs> I don't know about the Superman pose. <laughs> I was like, what do you do with my hands? I don't know. <laughs> Put them on your hips. <laughs> Sink. Okay, do it again. 